Uh, good evening. This is Chairperson. Recording has started. The event good is evening. live. This is Chairperson Tina Polly calling the meeting to order. Um, if you all would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm assuming everyone can hear me. I, I didn't hear anyone join in. Yes. We can hear you. Thank you. I, I, we, we can hear you. Great. Thanks, everyone. Um, do you mind doing the uh, roll call, please? Commissioner Martinson? Here. Commissioner Poley? Here. Commissioner Hom. Commissioner Tatishi? Here. Commissioner Shelby? Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. I'm going to uh, read um, about our procedures during uh, the um, overall shutdown. I'll read that and then I'll ask that we swear in anyone that um, would like to speak or present this evening. Public comment procedures in compliance with directives of the county, state, and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. This meeting is live streamed and closed to public attendance. Meeting procedures are subject to change pursuant to guidelines related to social distancing and minimizing person-to-person -person contact. Live meeting comment. Sign up to make a public comment during a live meeting. Registration opens when the agenda is posted 72 hours prior to the meeting date. Dial 916-875-2500 to provide contact information. On the day of the meeting, callers will be contacted by phone and transferred to the meeting to make a comment on a specific agenda item or off-agenda item. Callers may sign up until public comments are closed for a specific item, respectively. Written comment. Send an email comment to boardclerk at sackcounty.net. Make a comment online at bozpublicmeetings.sackcounty.net or mail a comment to 700 H Street, Suite 2450, Sacramento, California, 95814. Written comments are distributed to members, filed in the record, but will not be read aloud. If you'd like to view the meeting, uh, video audio from a PC is prime.bluejeans.com slash a2m slash live dash event slash g-y-y-x-k-a-w-r. Um, if you want to view um, or listen from a mobile device, it's also primetime.bluejeans.com slash a2m slash live dash event slash J-W-Z-J-P-T-G-Y. Enter the event code G-Y-Y-X-K-A-W-R. If you want audio only, 415-466-7000. Enter PIN code 4111-696-POUND. Thank you. If you'd like to swear in now. Yes. Um, for the applicants, um, Jason and Ellen Nishimura, um, I, um, please raise your right hand and the appropriate response is I do. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give this commission is the truth so help you God? If you do not swear, do you so affirm? I do. I do. When, um, when you um, speak to the commission, please state your name for the record and the statement I have been sworn. Thank you. Could we start with the first item, please? Item number one, use permit and design review. Located at 7430 Alexander Court, approximately 1,500 feet south of the Fair Oaks and San Juan intersection in the Fair Oaks community, environmental dock is a negative declaration. Thank you, Alma, and good evening, commissioners. This is Meredith Holsworth, and I am the project manager for the Alexander Court use permit project. And you can go on to the next slide. The project site is located at 7130 Alexander Court, 
It's about 1,500 feet south of the Fair Oaks and San Juan intersection and just north of the American River in the Fair Oaks community. The parcel is zoned RD2 and it has a parkway corridor zone overlay. It's currently developed with a single family residence. Next slide, please. The request is for a use permit for development within the setback of the erosion zone two in the parkway corridor combining zone. And that's for development for an addition to the existing residential dwelling, as well as a design review entitlement to comply with countywide design guidelines. Next slide. This slide shows the proposed site plan. Um, at the top of the page, you can see where the edge of bluff is labeled, oh. and then the 70-foot setback line um, that constitutes the erosion zone. The shaded section on the left of the plan shows the proposed new deck, and the shaded section on the right of the home shows the proposed driveway that would replace the existing one and would be at the same mm -hmm. grade as the new I can't. Um, garage. I can't. Next slide. This is the proposed landscape plan, and it's showing the uh, new proposed plantings and walkways. Um, there are several trees on site, all of which will be retained except for four small citrus trees and one eucalyptus. Next slide. These are the proposed elevations showing the completed renovations and additions to the home. The southern elevation faces toward the river and the northern elevation faces toward Alexander Court. Next slide. I will. As shown in the previous slides, the project description consists of renovation of the existing home, and that includes re-roofing, rewiring, and remodeling of bathroom and kitchen. The footprint and the height of the house will not change. Additionally, development includes replacement of the existing carport with an enclosed garage, as well as the landscaping renovation. The project proposed complies with all the applicable development standards, and the requirement for the use permit is just due to that parkway corridor combining zone and being within the erosion zone uh, setback. Next slide, please. The Design Review Advisory Committee reviewed the project on January 23rd of this year, and they recommend that the project be found in compliance with countywide design guidelines. They commented that the additions to the home were respectful to the original design and are a sensible expansion to an attractive home. The Fair Oaks CPAC reviewed the project on January 9th of this year and recommended a unanimous approval. They supported the proposal and stated that the remodel and landscaping designs were sensitive to the location and beautifully rendered. There were no members of the public present at that meeting and staff is also recommending approval of the project with conditions. Next slide. Staff is recommending the following actions to determine that the environmental analysis is adequate and complete and to adopt the negative declaration, to adopt the mitigation monitoring and reporting program, to approve the use permit subject to finding and findings and conditions, and to find the project in substantial compliance with countywide design guidelines. And that does conclude staff presentation. I'm happy to take any questions, and we do have Ellen on the line for the applicant. Thank you. Thank you. Um, commissioners, are there questions? And if there are, could you state your uh, name prior to the question? Okay, thank you so much. Um, if we could have the applicant. Yes. Do you um, have comments or would, would you like for me to open it up for questions? Um, no, I don't have any comments. Hi, can you? Oh, this is our architect, Saxon Sigurdsson. He's on the line. This is Saxon, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear oh. you well. All right. Thank heavens. I had a difficult time getting in. So um, if I could just say a couple words. Um, this is a beautiful house by Grant K. Wood done in 1956, and um, it's a really exquisite, understated uh, 
modernist little piece of jewelry at there sitting on the bluff above the river, gorgeous views and uh, extraordinary in terms of its all brick exterior. And uh, it's built beautifully. It's uh, there's doesn't seem like there's one crack in any of the plaster anywhere. And so it's been a delight to work on the project with Lou and Ellen. And um, we've really striven to um, be very respectful of what the building is and uh, and what the river uh, and the bluff and the view of the river and the view of the house are. So um, anyway, it's a pretty simple change to the house to uh, get the floor level of the garage or the car space up at the height of the house, change the driveway a little bit, and then add some space uh, in terms of the shop and exercise area. And then um, staying with the deck addition that is basically respecting the bluff edge and um, and then a beautiful job of landscaping by Bill Roach and his team. So um, anyway, just respectfully submit the project and thanks so much for your attention. Thank you. Commissioners, do you have questions for the applicant? Okay, th this is Chairman Polly. I would like to say um, this appears to be a wonderful improvement um, and, as you said, very respectful of the site. Um, so I'm certainly going to be inclined to support this. Okay, do we have anyone from the public that wanted to speak on this topic? No, we did not receive any public comments and neither did do we have any requests to speak live. Great, thank you. So I'll close the public portion of this um, item and um, ask the commissioners if there is um, a discussion or a motion. This is Commissioner Tatishi. I move the item as uh, with the staff recommendation. I second. This is Commissioner Martinson. Thank you. Could we call the vote, please? Commissioner Martinson? Yes. Commissioner Poli? Yes. Commissioner Hom? Commissioner Tatishi? Yes. Commissioner Shelby? Yes. Unanimous vote with those members present. Thank you. Could we have item number two, please? Item number two, use permit amendment and design review located at 4300 El Camino Avenue at the Stadium of El Camino High School in the Arden Arcade community and the environmental document is exempt. Okay, do we have a staff presentation? Yes, good evening. My name is Emma Patton. Um, I'll be presenting this project. The request is, as mentioned, a use permit amendment for a project known as Crown Castle Co-location. Can you advance the slide, please? This project is located at 4300 El Camino Avenue at the El Camino High School a campus site in the Arden, Arden Arcade community. The request is for a use permit amendment to allow for the co-location on an existing monopole where the lease area will be increased and design review to comply with the countywide design guidelines. Next slide, please. Here you can see a site plan of the El Camino High School highlighted centrally on the site plan um, is location of the existing cell tower and the existing ground lease area, as well as the proposed expansion of the ground lease area. The expanding ground lease area is what is triggering this use permit amendment. Next slide, please. Here you can see the elevations um, of the proposed alterations to the existing cell tower and also to the ground lease area below. Uh, modif modifications to the structures themselves, the, the cell towers, uh, include 12 new AT&T antennas. Next slide, please. So the next two slides are going to include photo simulations of the proposed site alterations. Here we see the change in the ground plane with the new ground equipment shown on the right side of the photo frame. Next slide, please. And here we see the monopole with uh, the new antennas. So the antennas will be co-located co on the existing monopole and the existing stadium light standard. Uh, the project proposes to lower the light standard and place the antennas above that light. Next slide, please. Thank you. 
The draft met on April 23rd, 2020 and recommended that the project be found in substantial compliance with the countywide design guidelines. During their meeting, they also made some recommendations for revisions to the height of the stair railing and the enclosure to limit the ability for folks to jump over the fence into the enclosure. The applicant has, has since made these changes to the plans. The Garden Arcade CPAC met on February 7th, 2020, and they also recommended approval of the project. Based on these recommendations and staff's analysis of the project's consistency with the general plan, the community plan, and the zoning code, staff is recommending approval of the, of the request. Uh, specifically that the planning commission recognize the exempt status of the request under the California Environmental Quality Act, approve the use permit amendment subject to the findings and conditions provided in attachment two of the report, and also find the project in substantial compliance with the countywide design guidelines. That concludes my presentation and our applicant Jason Osborne is on the line and available for, for questions as well. Thank you. Um, commissioners, are there any questions for staff? Okay, thank you. So um, uh, if the applicant would like to speak um, or, or, or let us know that you're just open for questions either way. Yeah, this is Jason Osborne, 3 Rovina Lane, Petaluma, California. Uh, I'd like to thank staff for taking the time on this project. I know it's, it's gone on uh, quite a while, and I'm happy to answer any further questions that may uh, that may arise. Thank you so much. Thank you. Commissioners, do you have questions for the applicant? Okay, thank you. Um, do we have any public comment? We have not received any public comments. Okay, oh. thank you so much. Um, so we'll close the public portion of, of this item. Um, commissioners, um, discussion or motion? I'm happy to move staff recommendation. Ms. Okay. Commissioner T shall second that. Okay. Could we call the vote, please? Commissioner Martinson? Yes. Commissioner Poley? Yes. Commissioner Hom? Commissioner Commissioner Tatishi? Yes. Commissioner Shelby. Yes. And the motion passes with those members present. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, next item is item number three, planning director's report. Manuel Mejia is in chambers with me today. Uh, uh, good evening, commissioners. Uh, this is Manuel Mejia. Like I said, uh, there, we don't have anything to report back. Okay, thank you. Um, I have no... Oh, item number four, I have no miscellaneous scheduling matters. So and we are scheduled for our normal next meeting in two weeks? Yes, seven uh, Monday, 7-27, July 27th. Okay, good. So you should be receiving the materials for that next week. Thank you. And then um, do we have any uh, uh, off uh, item? No, uh, we public comment. No, we did not receive any off agenda um, public comment either. Okay, thank you. Um, well, if that's it for everybody, I will adjourn the meeting. And um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.